Hello and welcome back to Mac at the Movies. Today I'm going to review for you the film The Straight Story. This film was released October 15th, 1999 by Disney and directed by one of my personal favorite directors, David Lynch, uh, who had also directed films such as The Elephant Man, Wild at Heart, and Blue Velvet. Uh, this film stars Richard Farnsworth as Alvin Strait, Sissy Spacek as his daughter, Rose Strait, and Harry Dean Stan as his brother, Lyle Strait. Uh, this film follows the character of Alvin as he takes a journey to go visit his brother after hearing that he had recently had a stroke. Uh, one of my all-time favorite scenes in cinematic history is in this film, and it is when Alvin finds out that his brother had a stroke. Uh, there's a scene where Alvin and Rose are just sitting in a room looking out a window at a lightning storm, uh, just sitting there in quiet and briefly discussing here and there about just genuinely liking a lightning storm which in my opinion i i love a good lightning storm it's when uh when they get a, a little bit more violent than just the, your basic rainfall and strike a lightning here and there that my anxiety gets going but uh, they're just sitting there talking about a lightning storm and that's when the phone rings rose gets up to go answer the phone and she's like oh oh no what happened lyle what happened to lyle and you see this switch, it, it's instantaneous, uh, this, this glance in Alvin's eyes, and as David Lynch directs the camera at just at the right angle, moving in at the right time, it's, you can see into the character's like heart and see his emotion and his feeling of dread knowing something had happened to his brother. Uh, Alvin decides to take a journey to go visit his brother as they haven't seen each other in 10 years due to an argument they had a decade prior. Uh, you follow Alvin on this journey as he meets strangers and you know that you see the kindness of strangers and uh, you see the, the, just the, the humbleness of this journey and how he's willing to help out other people when they're in need of help when people are willing to help him out, uh, even though he doesn't necessarily want to accept the help, uh, you know, he wants to do everything on his own. Uh, you know, he, he definitely leaves a little bit of leeway and wiggle room there to, to help, but within reason. Uh, he, he doesn't want to, uh, I guess, come across as he's taking advantage of something. And he's in this journey for, you know, his own personal growth and to, to hopefully reconnect with his brother. So uh, by taking this journey himself, you know, it makes the whole situation mean more to him uh, as a whole. And, you know, seeing that he made this journey on, a, on, on by himself, that maybe it'll help him and his brother reconnect in, in a way that if he just had somebody drive him there would. So. You know, it definitely looks like, you know, what he did meant a lot more. And, with, you know, which I'm sure did. This film is based on a true story. So uh, this actually happened I, to the great extent uh, of the storyline. I'm not sure what was probably altered for the film versus what happened in real life. But a man got on a riding mower and took uh, a trip across states so uh what alvin does he gets in an, a riding mower because he doesn't have a driver's license he has bad eyesight you know th there's too many variables here for him to to be able to take the journey on his own in a, in a safe means so he realized that a loophole around that was a riding mower so he hooked a trailer up to it uh, got himself a, a lot of meats and you know hot dogs things like that to eat along the way uh, he sleeps in his trailer and gets up every morning and hits the hits the road again so uh, it's definitely a very you know interesting film to see that somebody had done that that you know you 
you, you have that unconditional love that'll get you from point A to point B without anyone or anything trying to stop you. I mean, his friends in the town all looked at him like he was crazy and that he wasn't gonna get to where he was going. Uh, so, I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic movie. Uh, there's a, a funny scene in it where this woman uh, gets into a car wreck, uh, hits a deer, and she gets out of the car frantic, freaking out, crying. Alvin tries to approach her and help her, and she's like, every week, every week I come down this road and I hit a deer. And like, I, don't, I have to use this road every day. I don't know what I'm doing, and it, it's kind of a, a funny m moment but it makes you think like, well, well, what are you doing wrong? Because you see in the film, the, the car comes up behind Alvin blazing by, and then all of a sudden you hear the wreck and you get the close up of Alvin, he's concerned, he stops the tractor and gets off and goes to hell. And then she's, she's frantic about it, you got the deer, and she's like, this has happened 13 times in, in the past seven weeks. And she gets back into the car and tears out of there again. And I'm like, well, maybe if you slowed down and maybe looked around when you were driving, you probably hit less deer. So uh, it was definitely like, uh, it was a bit of a funny, funny moment in the film. You get this frantic woman freaking out about uh, a problem that could have solved itself just by adhering to the speed limit. But, uh, all in all, this is a great film. Uh, I give it a solid five stars out of five. Uh, has anyone out there seen this film? If you have, what did you think about it? Uh, jot that down in the comments below. Did you like it? Uh, I, I don't know too many people that weren't, a, you know, that weren't big fans of this film. I mean, it's definitely a great, great flick. Uh, I had the opportunity years ago to see it in the theater. However, uh, I missed it because it was Mother's Day and that day was saved for my mom. So uh, I didn't go to the theater that day. Uh, went and visited with her all day and ha had a wonderful time, you know, cook out what we usually do. And it, it was a good day. So, you know, maybe later on down the line, I will be able to see this one in the theater, uh, hopefully one day. If not, it's not the biggest loss in the world. I still get to see it on my TV whenever I want. So. That's always a great thing. Uh, the, it was during a like a, a David Lynch retrospect, retrospective or what, what have you. And so they had played all of his films in the theater. And I, I've gotten to see every single one of his movies with the exception of this one. So, uh, and each one of the films came with uh, different shorts that he had done prior to his debut film. A racer head so you, you got to see all of the short films you, you got to see everything throughout the entire retrospective re retrospective so uh, yeah it was definitely a, a lot of fun and I, I was glad that I got to see one of my favorite directors films in the theater like that um, I do believe the good majority of it was all on 35 millimeter so uh, that's something I, I always like getting that you know physical media so, uh, you know, great film, great film. Love it. Hope to see it in the theater one day. Anyway, uh, jot down in the comments below what you thought about it. And, uh, or if you have a favorite David Lynch film yourself, uh, I battle back and forth between this and Blue Velvet. Uh, I honestly, I, I think if I had to put one of these as my favorite David Lynch film, it, it may very well be this one. Um, I, I really love Blue Velvet. Eraserhead, I throw in all the time. I love Eraserhead. Uh, but something about this movie, and it's that scene. It's that scene that really gets me. So, you know, jot down in the comments below maybe one of your favorite David Lynch films. And if you like this video, uh, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to let you know when I got more videos coming your way. So as always, be good to one another. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.